Hello, anybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Donkey Kong Country 2 Diddy's Conquest. I am Mr. Debius, or just Deeb, and I know I have been away a while. And today, we are going to get back into Diddy's Conquest, and we are going to go to Gloomy Gulch, the haunted level, the haunted world of the game. And we're going to start off with Ghostly Grove. So, little factoid about myself. My favorite theme in video games, my favorite level archetype, are haunted levels. And now we have a cloak who just comes down immediately to give us just a moment. Sorry about that, I had to reconfigure my controller. It wasn't... I mean, why would I need to reconfigure a Super Nintendo controller? Ha 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 ha! Hmm. Okay, so anyway... We have some cloaks immediately in this level to, uh, to just chuck stuff at us, and they, they're fitting in this level. They have a spooky aesthetic to them. They're probably the spookiest of the Kremlings. So this level is beautiful in its respect. It has the light shining through the trees. It's very nice. It's, it's pleasing to look at, I suppose. But, and we got a spooky tree in the background. We got these spooky ropes. That will be the gimmick of this level. Now, if you know anything about me, maybe you do, maybe you don't. You probably don't because you're probably finding this video for the first time. Because this is a fairly early video on... Clearly, I have not recorded in so long that I have gone stupid. So, anyway, as I was saying... Also, that's an interesting pairing of enemies down there. You can only jump on one and somersault into the other, so that's neat. Um, as I am trying to say, yet struggling to get out... Um, I... I am a massive fan of haunted level archetypes, so Gloomy Gulch naturally should be like my favorite world in the game, right? Not so, and this level isn't really my favorite archetype either. I like the light shining through the trees, the music is serene and nice and all, but I'd hardly call this haunted. This is supposed to be the haunted theme levels of the- but there's not really much to them. I mean, you got the screaming trees in the background, and in this level you got the ghostly ropes in there. They're okay, but the music is, it's just a, it's, the music isn't one of the best that we've seen of the, uh, of the soundtrack. In fact, it's probably one of the weaker tracks. Also, we want to go down there to get that, uh, DK coin. You're supposed to find that by the camera kind of panning down here if you're going slowly, and that's how you know that's where the DK coin is. It's kind of a pain, but, if you're just rushing through, but, first time playing through any rare Donkey Kong game, you're first hint is to just take your time and just go through it at a regular pace. Now, if you were paying attention, there was a banana in front of that wall there, which is kind of a hint of what we need to do, and we are... I need to... I just want to get rid of these guys so that I have room to work. And then Diddy's just a jerk, so I'm going to leave him there. And hopefully this doesn't come back to bite me. Okay, he's okay. And that opens up our path into our secret world where we will be going to look for tokens in the Haunted Grove. Like, it's an interesting turn on the archetype. It's not like a just a generic haunted house, and I can appreciate it for that, because a lot of games do get kind of lazy with their haunted house theme. And I know, it. It's sometimes it's forced, sometimes it's cheesy, sometimes it's unnecessary, but this, it's not bad, but it's not really haunted either. If you didn't tell me, if this wasn't in Gloomy Gulch, if it didn't have the ghosty ropes, and if it weren't for the screaming trees, I mean, even with the screaming trees, this is kind of, this is not what I would call my archetypal haunted level. It's not my favorite, it's not bad, but as far as haunted worlds go, Gloomy Gulch is kind of... Gloomy Gulch is kind of not my ideal. And this, in this level archetype, that will be um, indicative of what we're going to see for the most part. Actually, a little bit of a spoiler, but not really, because this game came out how many years ago? Um, we are going to be seeing all the examples of this level type in this world. We're going to see the Gloomy Gulch level type, the Haunted Grove. I think it's called Haunted Grove archetype, in about how many... We're going to see three of them across this world, and that's going to be all of them for the rest of the game. So that's pretty interesting, that it's confined entirely to this world. And speaking of this world, this world is only five levels long. So it's a bit like the earlier worlds in the game, but not really because it's harder and it's a late game world. But this also means that I'm going to be trying to do Gloomy Gulch in two videos, which means today you're going to be getting a three level video, which is hooray. But since it's 
five levels long, and three of these levels are this level type, I guess it does mean that this world does have a very established theme, and one of the other level types was really worth noting. Another of the level types is just kind of weird, but nah, you got you gotta do something. I don't think we get any special anything special from this uh, victory poll, but anyway, I will win one banana. I just noticed Dixie Kong's ponytail kind of looks like a banana. Oh my god, I've never noticed that. Well, that is your mind blow. Sorry, I was dying there for a moment. So one of the first things we unlock here, actually, is the Monkey Museum. If I remember correctly, Wrinkly is actually pretty far and in, deep into this world. But we're going to go into the Monkey Museum because I've been told to go in the Monkey Museum. And I'm going to go in the Monkey Museum. Look at all this junk in here. Treat my home like a trash can they do. No respect for their elders. That's the trouble. That was off. I knew you'd be back. Can't finish this ridiculous quest without my help, can you? This is painful. Shouldn't Dixie just be a token female princess waiting to be rescued instead of a main character? Oh, Rare, you and your video game commentary. See, you're back again. Everybody likes old Cranky. I bet my ugly old wife doesn't get half as many visits. <laughs> this is great. I should have visited Cranky more. I was hoping for more frames this time, but no! Don't let old Cranky do anything. Just give him some third-rate stand frames. <laughs> As you can see, Cranky Kong is the best Kong in the entire series. Just by these entries alone. Okay, that was worth it. Okay, that was entirely worth it. And there might have been some level spoilers if you were paying attention there. Just the names of the levels, but uh, it's no big deal. Okay, now that I'm done dying again, you might notice, if you're paying attention, that this haunted hall, if you look closely, that is the back end of a pirate ship. The Kremlings managed to crash a pirate ship on top of their island. How the hell did they do that? And if you don't believe that that's a pirate ship, well, you can see the other part of it up there to the top left. That's the crow's nest. So let's go into haunted hall. I'm stalling long enough. And here we have... An actually spooky level. I like this level. Because the gimmick is, it's a roller coaster level. I think I already missed something. But we will see as we go throughout the level. This is Haunted Hall. It is a spooky level. And there we have Cackle. <coughs> he is a unique enemy type that only appears in this level. The Haunted Hall, this is the only haunted library in the game. This is the only level of this type in the game. And I like it. I like the music. I like the spooky atmosphere. I like it all. I keep nearly dying here, but this recording will go on because, ah, uh, god, it's been like a long time since I've recorded. Anyway, we have a Collect the Stars mission. You don't literally have to collect every star in this one, I don't think, because it's impossible. Either that, or I'm going to be punished for not collecting them all, but I think there's more than enough. Yeah, you have more than enough to work with to get the, all the things in this level. So, a cool thing about Cackle is, also, I think we missed another, uh, the other secret in this level. I think you can... Yeah, yeah, I missed the secret in this level, which is actually hidden pretty well. The Cackles have the various gimmicks, each one. Like this one, the first one was just introducing you to the mechanic. This guy barely has any time on his timer, and I fell. And Cackle laughs at our death. Since I'm curious... Okay, that was a bad idea. It's actually fairly early in this level that the other secret is. It's right next to the other one, if I remember correctly. Anyway, Cackle, as you can see, this one just introduces you to the gimmick and each one, and it shows you the minus barrels, and obviously you avoid those or your counter goes down, and if it reaches zero, something bad happens. But anyway, we come up here and go off the rails, and this is actually a really coolly hidden, a coolly hidden secret, I guess you could say. And I think this one, you just gotta get to the end of the track without dying. And as you saw up there, it appeared above and to the left, so you're wondering, what the hell? But the answer to that is, you get up to the top, and you get pushed backwards, and this is a cool gimmick. And I like it. And they actually carry this over into the level, because you go out the back, and then you fly out the back, and then you zoom into the other bonus. So I guess let's just do the other bonus while I talk some Donkey Kong Country 2 trivia. So Cackle 
is a spooky Kremlin ghost, and that's there's no surprise in that. But in during the development of um, uh, Donkey Kong Country 2, there was another character that they developed that might have been in Cackle's place, and his name was Mr. X. And I'm gonna slap up a picture of him real quick. Okay. So that's Mr. X, and the only sign of him that remains is in the German instruction booklet. And his description basically says no one has seen him or knows where he is, or something to that effect. And he was just a really spooky admiral looking uh, Kremlin, and I'm sad to see he was cut. I, if he was in, I, I think he was originally planned to be in Cackle's place, but I don't think anything was necessarily confirmed, so don't quote me on that. Maybe he was going to be a boss, like the actual boss of Gloomy Gulch. But he just kind of was cut, and I'm sad, because he looked like a really cool Kremlin. So, yeah, there's some trivia for you. Now here we come to the third cackle, which gives you a huge time counter, but it bases itself entirely around minus barrels that you have to dodge. I think you're able to hit, like, one, and but if you hit two, you're gonna take a hit as a result. Whereas the second cackle was all about... Oh man, we missed that secret. Damn it! <sighs> Well, I'm not gonna it's, I'm not gonna functionally kill myself. So here we come to the final cackle, which is a test of everything you've learned. It is specifically putting plus signs right next to minus barrels and not giving you a lot of space to work with. And just it's hectic and I love it and I like this level a lot. And it's I'm sad to say it is the only level of its type in the game, but that makes it all the more unique. And we escape from Cackle, and we get to the end of the level. We missed a bonus barrel, but I'm going to be going back and getting that for you to see. I think if we come down here, we get the DK coin. That is nothing special, and it's time to wrap. Oh jeez. Uh oh. Uh oh. I just thought I'd show that off because Cackle is a really creepy crit cackle if he actually hits you, and I missed the bonus! Bye, Dixie. There we go. And that leads us to the third bonus of the level. Alrighty. That's all I really have to say about going into the bonus of the level. But holy crap, I forgot how fast this goes. This is a, actually an extremely fun bonus, and I like it because it goes so fast, but holy crap, look how fast it goes. Of course, the timer isn't really a timer so much as telling you how close you are to the end of the level, so once it hits two seconds, you are okay and in the clear. And with that, I am just going to play through to the end of the level. You don't gotta watch, I'm just gonna play through because I like this level. Alrighty, so now that we've completed Haunted Hall, this means that we are not done the video today. Normally I'd stop the video here, but because Gl Gusty Glade, not Gusty Glade, um, Gloomy Gulch is only five levels long instead of the usual six, I'll be doing three episodes today and then finishing it up on the next episode. So we're gonna go right into the next level, which is Gusty Glade. We're in the forest again. If you recognize the usage of these leaves before, or you might, rec you might be able to guess by the name of this level and the leaves what this level's gimmick is going to be. However, we do have Radley, so I'm happy about that. And there it is immediately. It is time to just go flying everywhere. Oh my god, I do not like wind levels. It's just a per- even though we have Radley, which makes things better, and he can jump on spike things. Um, the fact of the matter is, I'm just not a big fan of these level types where it just goes windy. It reminds me a lot of Mario Bro uh, Super Mario the uh, Super Mario Brothers 2, the Lost Levels version of the game, where it had windy levels. And even though the particle effect that showed the wind was neat and all, it's just kind of... I mean, that's a nice indicator, but the wind would come and go so suddenly that you'd have to adjust in... Yeah, like that. I mean, the wind comes so quickly, and maybe I shouldn't have pulled back like I did. I pulled back because I wanted to, like, readjust what I was doing. The problem is the wind was blowing me forward, so by trying to go back, I immediately did myself in. Dixie is a great character in this level, though, and if you want to just go with her instead of Radley, that's great. It's actually vi uh, equally viable to go with her. Get over here, Radley. Radley, you are the most hilarious fleeing animal because you are the slowest, because how does a coiled snake even leave? Consider that they made the spider, not the spider, the snake character, the jumping character. Isn't that a cool thought? Rare, I appreciate you for subverting expectations now and then. 
But yeah, we just have some ba some tricky platforming here. They don't always throw the wind at you in the most inconvenient of locations. Like, usually there's a queue, like if there are banana trails, but my advice is mainly to take your time. I do believe if you hold down, yeah, if you hold down while you're charging Radley's jump, I don't know how you're supposed to figure that out. Maybe it's because if you hold down, you're still hopping, and that still pushes you through the air. But I think if you're the Kongs, or Radley doing his supercharge and holding down, then the wind won't blow you. And that's just great. And you... you don't do that like I did. Alright, I think we're about back where we were. Yeah. You need the super jump to get up here, otherwise you got to abandon Radley. And I'm not sure that this is close enough. No, it's not. You got to be like right at the edge. And okay, that should be good. And the wind will blow in your favor and help you get over there. And that's mainly what you need Radley for. I mean, you don't need him because you can just throw a Kong up into the barrel. But if you saw the sign, we're not going to have him for much longer. So I think they gave him to you and for this section because he might make it a little bit easier. Yeah, you <laughs> Just jump across. That's funny. Anyway. Goodbye, Radley. It's time for you to go through the sign and accept your fate as... What did you become? Okay, then. I don't want to undercut the... I don't want to undercut the difficulty of this level. Because it is a hard level. It's hard to work with the wind and constantly be adjusting your um, jumps and... Jesus. Not adjusting your juices. It's just constantly moving back and forth, trying to get onto these hooks. This level is one of the most difficult in the game, I would actually say. You might disagree. Um, it's just, it's not an easy level. Also, we have our cannonball that we're going to need for the cannon. And at this point in the level, the wind is just going to start going back and forth. Like, it'll be going intermittently. I think. So, there's no real indicator that this part of this level starts doing that if you just try to keep going on ahead, and it might just get really hard for you. So, that's a sign to just kind of take your time with this level and just until you're comfortable with it. I forget if there's wind in this portion of the level, but whatever. Mm. Unrelated to anything Donkey Kong, you might have noticed my throat is starting to go out. I might be getting sick, so hopefully I can finish this video before I'm talking and being like, because that's what I sound like when I'm sick, obviously. So now that we got that, we are gonna go get our coin and finish up this bonus level. I'm trying to remember where the DK coin is. It's This isn't the worst DK coin in the game, if I remember correctly. So this is where the wind will go from intermittent to just swapping back and forth, and you need to work with it. Now I think that is where we want to go to get a thing. But maybe not. No, we don't want to go down here. That might seem like there is a secret down there, but that's just where you... If you want to go, you want to go from the right. So here you want to wait, and you, these barrels you fire on your own. So you have a lot more control over them, and you just... I don't think I was supposed to do that. Like, just... I don't think I was supposed... To, no, I wasn't supposed to do that. Well, I wonder if I can... Yay! I did it! And I didn't even die. I'm so proud of myself. Og! I got Og. It's hard to make good commentary when this is level is stressful as this. I think I got everything. I got the DK coin. I think I got all the rel relevant um, bonus barrels. So I'm gonna try to get in the barrel because I want to get the bonus or the stupid music playing guitar. Tell me, BGM Corn, is the guitar more tolerable than the rapping monkey? Anyway, as you can see, that brings us to the end of Gusty Glade. We got everything in there, in Haunted Hall, and in Ghostly Grove. And that actually will be our three episodes for today. So, that was an exciting start to Gloomy Gulch. It's still not my favorite haunted level, but I'll deliver my thoughts on the world on a whole when I actually finish it. However, I do believe that we are going to be ending off today's episode, and if you want to see us continue on to that giant, mysterious tower to the north, then I just hope to see somebody in the next one. Bye bye <laughs>